All right, this one I don't know anything about other than it's uh, no cooling. It is running inside. And not outside. Looks like that's turned on. Which may not mean anything. This thing's awfully close to the wall. Contactors pulled in. Alright. Two hundred and forty volts. One sec, I didn't realize you couldn't see that. Let's check across the other side of the contactor. I got zero. So, that contactor needs to be replaced. So, that's what I'm fixing to do. Already killed power and check both legs. Power is off.
felt loose, so I'm going to tighten that one up a little bit. And I get on the back side of this, squeeze just a little bit. Hook our power back up. Don't want to break your contactor so you don't over tighten. Not a lot of slack in that wire. All right. Check my wiring. Black on this side. Black on this side. This black goes to my condenser fan motor. This goes to common on my hard start kit. This is for compressor lead. That's compressor lead. And this one goes to my run side of my capacitor. So it should be ready to start off. Let's check pressures on it. All right, I'm sharing my screen on this to show you that I had a high subcooling and high superheat that indicates a restriction in the refrigerant line if it had been an airflow restriction, I would have had a low superheat. So I'm going to go check and see if this has a TXV. At those numbers, I decided to come up here and see if it has a TXV. Because I think we got a restriction. I also had to add a little bit of Freon, so these coils aren't that expensive compared to other name brands. Price on both. 